This is a big pile of Mila stuff. Yes, we have another situation where if I didn't say yes to all of this, it would end up in the bin. We've got, we've got bags of hoses and wands. We've got a box of random stuff. We have three machines here. And there's stuff in that bag as well. So I don't know where to begin with this. So we're just going to start from the beginning see what we've got, see if we can make a match set for all of these machines and yes, yeah, see, see what this pile of stuff turns into. Let's have a look. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner and me the chums. How are you today? Yes, this is another Mr. Jones special. You know, I'm, I'm having a clear out. Do you want it? And of course I do. So yes, we do have three vacuum cleaners. We have this Miele Electronic S424i there. Oh, I'm very excited about this one. We have this Miele Revolution Power Plus 5000 sat there you can't really see them but you don't need to and then we have this very nice Mila clean care 2200 watts sat there and i think i don't want to dwell on the machines too much in themselves but i want to see if we have enough tools for them so yes straight off the bat we do have a power plus although i think this is broken I have my refurbished one somewhere, so yes, immediately we have a little bit of a personal thing for me because I've been slowly climbing the S5 tree. As you know, if you watch my videos, we've had some very rare ones, and now, in theory, assuming everything is here, I now have the top spec, top of the line S5 that they ever sold in the UK, finally here. So yeah, that'll be probably separate before videos on all of those but we need to work out what we have so this bag contains wands and hoses so we should probably start here let's get all the hoses out and straight away it's, it's a little bit obvious which one is which oh there we go yeah yeah move back here we do indeed have the hose for the S5 Power Plus Revolution, very good indeed, and in here is its wand, it's nice, aluminium, not black, I've never had a not black one, there we go, very nice indeed, oh we are missing a dusting brush, so we need to keep an eye out for a dusting brush, and I'm going to say that that is fair enough, we're going to call that done, and pop that out of shot, over there because yeah we'll go through all the machines separately but we need to work out the tools now straight away i know an s5 n when i see one there we go we have ourselves a hose for our clean care very nice indeed we have two more ones this is going to be the one for that oh there's a little bit of damage on the end of there which is a bit of a shame but probably won't stop me from doing anything with it. There we go. So we have a, a hose and a wand. We have all of our tools here. So we just need a floor head. Marvellous. Put that over there. And then finally, we have this very poor s 424 i which we actually cut the cable off when Mr. James came because he wanted it fitting for something else quickly. So yes, it has the last hose. Yes, it has the last wand, although annoyingly, again, it's got a little chip in it there. Oh, bit of a bit of a shame really. But yes, it is all there as well. So hose and wand. Oh, oh, ah. That could be a problem. And we need an older style dusting brush for this one, although it does have a radiator brush. Oh, well that's that's gonna be a thing, isn't it? We'll have to see 
what we can do about that. But all three machines now have their requisite parts. Now we can move on to the other side. Now we may as well stay with this bag because it's nearly empty. And immediately we find ourselves a floor saw. I have zero idea what generation, model, etc. this is from, although it does have some very nice wheels. So that's that. So there's one floor head. We have just the the basic low spec parquet floor tool there. Ah, and two filters. Very nice these are, both for Mila and for a lot of other vacuum cleaners. I mean, we now have an empty bag, which could be quite handy. So I've also got an empty box here because, you know, we have this thing to go through and we're probably going to have a pile of bits, you know, not complete not great and good stuff and then we can tip it back into the box so let's see what's in here well immediately we have some used filters i'm not really a fan of used filters even though they probably haven't been used that much uh, 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 do have a filter cage though they are always always handy to have Ooh, that's all me to look we have ourselves a SIBO turbo head this is this is the second SIBO floor head we got we got that SIBO power head to test out we might have to get the C3 down from the lock well you can go with the best of them even though you're not a SIBO oh you're not a SIBO either look we have the truly horrible Dyson hard floor head it is horrible until you pull that middle strip out and then it's all right fair enough that's cool oh we have an upholstery tool both lint pickers Ooh, we have an upholstery tool, both lint pickers. Ooh, we have an upholstery tool. Oh, only one lint picker though. And yeah, this is actually also the older style. So, won't go in the rubbish box just yet. Ooh, we have an upholstery tool, two lint pickers, and a Dyson model. Very nice indeed. DCO1, nice adapter there. I'll take that. We have ourselves a very nice condition crevice tool, Ooh, a bag holder for a C3, Ooh, upholstery tool, both lint pickers, oh this is the newer newer style, look we can we can start doing generational stuff, look we have three generations of Mila upholstery tool, Mila upholstery tool, both lint pickers and it's the same style as this one therefore into the Grot box you go and actually we'll take this filter out because that's not grot box but you don't need to lay it out here on the floor oh, get rid of that right we have another upholstery tool another upholstery tool a bent end oh look it's been bejazzled with a gem stuck on it whatever yeah very nice oh not warm ah, well, not warm but yeah that, that is that is in the, the baby pile Oh, we've got one of those wand holders that the, the C2s came with. Poultry tool, good. Poultry tool, good. A poultry tool, good. A poultry, oh my goodness. A poultry tool, good. 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 A poultry tool, bad. A poultry tool, good. A poultry tool, good. A poultry tool good, oh my goodness, a poultry tool good, a poultry tool good, and that's another good upholstery tool. So I, I, I have a couple of upholstery tools in there. Oh, this is interesting. I had one of these on actually a Mila S5 that I used to own. This is the optional extendable hose, they call it. So it clicks on to, where are we? You'll do, monkey boy. You take off your bent end, like so, click that into there, click this onto there, and then immediately your hose is now 25 times harder to hold and more bulky until you unclip this and then you get a stretchy hose that sort of works, but again, is, is, is very heavy. But yeah, that is, that is what that is for. That is supposed to sit there like that. And on my S5, all of this was cracked. Well, obviously, it doesn't bend. Um, they're actually probably quite rare. So we'll take that off. And I might keep that in my personnel stash. But yeah, that is that. What else do we have? Oh, we 
have a dusting brush. Oh dear. Little bit, little bit worse for wear, but still, we don't have many dusting brushes. Oh, we have another dusting brush. Oh, we have a very battered dusting brush. Oh, we have another dusting brush. Oh, look, it's an upholstery tool. Two machine ends. One of them's probably for this S4, yeah. I don't think we need Now you won't fit. So we have an S4 machine end and an unknown. Oh, we have some tool holders, look. We have two, yeah, I don't know. That's, that's for the C3. Don't know. That's another C2. Don't know. That's cool. Oh, we have crevice tools. Very nice indeed. We have three more filter housings of various make and model and the release valve for a bent end. Ha! Ah, well, that is a lot of tools and there's still one more bag to go. As if that wasn't bad enough, we also have this bag of stuff. And unlike that box, which I could I had a peek in, knew what we were getting. This I haven't. Um <laughs> um, um, oh, let's start with this innocent looking Tesco bag. Oh, goody, look, it's some more upholstery tools. Oh, wow, fabulous. Look, we can add that to the pile there. Oh, look, it's another <laughs> one. Oh, okay, something, something cool. Look, it's an S7 slash the car kit crevice tool. Very nice. Oh, this could well be a 32mm adapter. We also have these three floor head necks, which is reasonable enough because, as we'll see in a bit, we have some more to come. I know why they're kept. And another tool holder. Lovely. And another empty bag. Right, we have, ooh, we have a very well used Miele Ecotech look. Ooh. Very nice indeed. That's cool. Well, we're running low on floor heads, so that's fine. What's in here? We have an ah, Electrolux single pedal floor head. Very odd. Um, right, let's start a bag for stuff that isn't me. Sebo head can go in there. Tell me, have you ever had job lock by this? Can comment down below. They are good fun, but try to. Right, so we have an other bag. Let's carry on. Ah, now this is interesting. Look, we have a like, box standard floor head, but with the Electrolux logo embossed on it. Brand spanking new as well. So that's very nice. Ah, we have, oh, in fact, that doesn't want to go there anyway. That wants to go with the other. Oh, I think the other bag's not going to be too big. Have ourselves a Sevo X Series dusting brush. <laughs> One of those wall mounted Dyson tool clips, like, like Landon gave us when I had the V11, but the bolt onto the wall. Oh, we are. Oh, oh. Oh, look, it's a very nice Miele soft dusting brush. Oh, it's covered in tape. Uh, fair enough. Can't win it all. Oh, that is a Hoover Pit Fit to. 35 millimeter tool, which I have one of actually, and not that great though. Next up, we have a ooh, a stretchy Kirby stair cleaning hose. These look genuine as well. Look, Kirby. But leave a date wheel. This is from 2014. Well, that is wicked. Probably won't fit the heritage, but will fit the Centria. <sighs> You know what, I've always thought about dropping a package of... I've always thought about Mila Arts. They are so cheap, but I used Mr. Hoover Luxes, actually, and didn't do much of it. But I now have two packs of bags for one. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll just post them to him and not bother, because I'm not quite sure I want one. Here, <laughs> lively, we have two brand new sets of brush strips for Vorwerk ET style heads, the older style, I think. That's pretty cool. Um, this is actually for the Mila pile. This is the older style hose end, like the S200 series, with a crevice tool. Yay, we can add that to our crevice tool collection. You don't need to do that. You are a random part. This is 
Look, it says Hoover on it. Again, brand new, never used, never really seen the cleaner that came from. Comment down below. Oh, look, it's another upholstery tool. Although this time, a brand new Karcher one. Very, very strange there. I don't know where Mr. Dave gets this from. Oh, goody look. Two air freshers. Very nice. Oh, oh, oh paperwork. <gasps> What have we got paperwork for? It is a tool, STB. That means that it is not from a vacuum cleaner. Oh, pictures. Ah. Ah, cat and dog turbo head. Ah, well that probably is right. Look, 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 there's a cat and dog turbo head in there, but oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, yeah. Doesn't even spin. Uh, okay, well that's... Um, you know what, we might double back that. There we go. Project for another day. Oh, look, another Mueller filter holder. Very nice indeed. I'm running out of space. Look, it's another Karcher upholstery tool. Yeah, doesn't look very, very nice to use, but this is one of those. Oh, look, two more Mueller crystals. Marvellous. Ah, oh, another turbo head, although in much better condition. Turbo Plus, yeah, both Turbo Pluses, so both of the same vintage. What are these hoses for? Ah, we have another S5 star hose. I think I've got two of those already. Oh, yeah, <laughs> we've got another S5 star hose, marvellous. Oh, goodness. We have another S5 star hose. Stop it! Right, uh, if anybody needs a meal at S5 star hose, do get in contact. Ah, that's where these went. These, these, these actually got put in the bag by me. Look, we have some nice Cobra sand. I've been wanting to Cobra sand this bag ever since we shampooed it with the Tinko Carpet Bomb Pro. Look, some nice. I bought some off eBay and they were really old. So, Mr. James. Very kindly got me some new ones. And some of the Lavinia. Do my mattress with that, so that's very nice. What's in here? Oh, we have Anne Wand. What does Anne Wand fit? Oh, Anne Wand is 32 millimetres. That's not 32, sorry, 35 millimetres. That's cool. That might get us out of a hole with one of the tatty ones over there. In fact, there's another wand in here. Never seen that star before. I wonder if that's from that cup. What are you? You're 32 millimetres. Fair enough. Oh, yeah, nice telescopic 32 millimetre wand. I'll take that. Ooh, look. Bosch. Focus. Bosch. Bosch. And yeah, that, that, that's very long, but that makes, that makes that look like a small little boy. What size are you? You're 35 millimetres as well. Fair enough. Well, for the other part you get. Oh, goody! Look, another upholstery tool. Uh, Do I inject it? Um, a little bag of beads. Marvellous. Oh, look, another filter holder. Another little cover for release now. Oh, look, another cover still. We're getting in now, folks. Ah, a much better bent end. So in fact, what we can do, in fact, what we could do anyway, really, is look, we can say, look, we have a complete home for Mila that we don't have. So that's good. Do we? Now, I think I do. I don't have any more S5s. Ooh, look, we have the posh Mila parquet twist. Oh, I remember before we had all the rugs down, I used one of those, and it was very nice. And here is, you know what, from the colour, shape and... Overall feel of this, I'd say Electrolux Light, but it's not, you know, the, the 2060 series. But again, another very nice, assumedly, no, oh, 30, ooh, are you 35 as well? You, you are! Wow! Yeah, I had so many Bojack 35mm ones. And that is everything from this job lot, because what this is got me thinking is I've still got a load of Mila stuff left from the last Mila shop that we had. So I'm going to go fetch that now and we're going to continue sorting out because I know there is a lot of rubbish in there so we can finally start making use of the fit for the bin pile. 
Poor Phoenix getting hold of it. Right, back in a minute. <sighs> Off the dust tells the tale. Indeed, yeah, this is all the stuff from the last time. I picked through it a lot. Um, I think there's some stuff left. I mean, look, we have a hose here from all of the older styles. I need perhaps yeah, another S4 style hose. So, you know, we're getting getting there. That's you know, two complete hoses we're keeping now. Oh, this is this is the problem with this leading stuff in your room to put things in. Look, there's a Hoover bag would have gone in there to keep it safe and done a job. Oh, look, there's another floor tool. Some of this again is just chucked in here because it's easy to after a video. Oh, another hose, although this one's completely raw with no ends either side. Fair enough. And ah, we have a meter S7 upright one. Oh, goody look, another filter housing. Oh, goody look, another filter housing. I have several back plates. The stuff. <laughs> I, I, I don't quite know what stuff all of this fits anymore. I've also got parts of floor heads which could very well go with the parts of the floor heads in that box. Well, I'm not going to know without doing it. Look, I've got bags of stuff that I've broken up, like motor mounts, another bits of floor head, bag holder, sound deadening, complete cord reels. That one's for C3, apparently. Another bag holder. This one is for, uh, doesn't say, that was clever, wasn't it? But a uh, something. Why didn't I write it on there? I wrote it on there. Bits of floor head, control boards for older models, control boards for newer models, bag houses. Oh, look, a dusting brush. You can go there. So there, there aren't many tools in here. I now have plenty. Sound deadening. <laughs> Another upholstery tool, another filter housing, another dusting brush, another radiator tool. I think this is now fit for the bin because I actually have a better spare motor now. Now we've been rusty and seized up. We have another control board, motor rubbers, bag holder, more bits of floor head. Another upholstery tool that isn't even for a meter. Yeah, just lots and lots and lots and lots of bits. So, look, we haven't got many of those. So, yeah, finally got through all of this. This has been a bit of a bottleneck, really, because I've had to go through it in order to work out what there is. There, need a C3 PCB there. So now I can have all of my things tidied up and looking good with my world's biggest collection of upholstery tools there. Do comment down below if you counted them. I might do it and see if we are correct. And yeah, and feel free to look forward to some before videos on those meters, of which there are plenty, and we'll have to find floor heads for them, which I'll do in another video, because I have a lot of meter floor heads lying around. Um, none of them are here. Um, I'm not gonna find them, because this has been enough. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Comment down below if you want the upholstery tool or seven. And I, and most of this stuff, will see you soon. Bye bye.